Hello and welcome back, my name's Solos and this is another video in Sky Wanderers. So just coming back into the game again, this time for what should hopefully be an actual short video, because last time I said it would be a short video, it ended up being about 20 minutes. So um, this is basically a bit of a long overdue video that I said I would do. It's a demonstration of the missile firing of the Solosian command ship against, well, another ship that I have, which also is the Solosian command ship. Let's just say this is a uh, scrap heap which had a fault in the reactors or something and it's dead inside. So we'll just sort of um, fly on down here. We will come into our little missile hatch here, which moves very slowly now. Seems to be many tweaking happening with the uh, rate of sliders and hinges and stuff at the moment. But it's no problem, everything works still. As you can see, plenty of logic involved. Um, and we'll just go into enter missile fire mode, I guess. Um, so it doesn't look like, it, like I can enter F4, but I'll just uh, open the missile doors. Um, actually, there might be a better way to do this, which would probably be from the bridge. So um, we'll just speed up and clip through the ship. Slow back down. Um, I think this one here should work. That's not the best view. Just get the command chair out, I guess. This was meant to be quick and simple, but I guess there's no best way to show it off, really. We'll just um do this, and as you can see, the ship there enter the missile fire mode, so number two should just do a set of four missiles, which seems to bug out every now and then. It seems maybe I'm a bit too far away from where the missiles are firing, so it's not firing them as many as it should be visually. Hopefully, as you can see there, there's a hole there now. We'll just go back in here. Number three should be one whole side of the missile turrets. Exit there, as you can see, it's just sort of ploughed right through that. And we'll just do one more shot from the number four, which should be all of them. But it's supposed to do 80 missiles, so there seems to be a bit of an issue with that. And I'm not too sure why that's happening, but it is, unfortunately. So, as you can see, firing from this side here, we managed to do quite a bit of damage just tearing up through the ship and with only one side firing, just one set of missiles it's able to cut basically a giant hole right there so keep in mind that whilst at the moment it isn't guided missiles because they're not active in the game yet these are all guided missile launchers so all four of them are guided missile launchers and then there's 20 of those tubes so 80 guided missiles and once we get targeting computers of sorts, we will be able to fire those missiles wherever we want on a ship. So just imagine a swarm of 80 missiles just sort of going straight into a ship. Now we'll try firing from down here, see if it actually uh, works if we're closer to where the missiles are firing from. Um... So you might have heard it just then, and I can certainly feel a little bit of frame rate drop, but I felt it as well. So that was one proper missile barrage, or barrage, however you pronounce it. Just 80 missiles all flying up through this ship, and it's just gone straight through the ship. So I'll just move this ship forward a little bit so we can get another shot in, and we'll just get another 80 missiles to go straight through here. So I'll just slow down a bit because I'm moving a bit too fast. Hopefully everything still works. Well, we've still got, still got that there. That's not linked to that anymore, though. Okay, I guess we can... Um, no, can't pilot it from that either. Can we pilot it from here? Nope. Nope. Okay, that's not good. Um, 
I guess I won't be moving this ship, but I can move this ship. I must have uh, destroyed the ship core or something. So we'll just come back in here. Oh, sorry if I'm moving a bit fast, but it's just uh, the camera at the moment moving a bit fast. So we'll just go to maneuvering mode, F4 to get a nice view, and we'll just sort of move. Ooh, that's not maneuver mode at all. That's standard mode. Go to maneuver like so. Move over just a little bit to the back half of the ship. So that way we can see a brand new set of missiles. Back to first person. Come back down here to the front. So it seems it doesn't fire all the missiles if you fire them from the bridge. But this button here seems to fire most of the missiles. Now I only heard it fire um, two waves just then. But even then, as you can see, two waves go straight through a ship like this. Hangar bays just get destroyed. And then the other sets go straight up here through the mess hall. And almost start hitting into the cargo area. So, it seems one wave of missiles can do just one floor at a time. So, four waves of missiles, so 80 missiles, can do an entire ship. Um, wasn't as spectacular as I was hoping, but as you can see, just a little bit of demonstration on how the missiles work in the game, and just how destructive this will hopefully be once it really works out. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say. I guess this could have worked out a lot better, but it is what it is. Um, the game's still in pre-alpha, so things won't work 100% of the time. It's not going to fire all 80 missiles all the time, unfortunately. But we can do our best to wire things up properly and get it to work properly. Let's try one more time. Yet yeah, I only fired another 40 missiles or whatever, two sets of shots. That should have gone the rest of the way through. Yeah, just about. So, um, yeah, just just the way damage works in the game at the moment it's not how it's going to be in the future this is just a, a temporary damage model so to say so um say like an actual gun it takes three shots I believe from one laser to do um, one block breaking it's like clicking it three times breaks a block so um sort of clarifies that hopefully but as you can see, just one missile will do a lot of damage, and 80 missiles will be devastating to a big ship, or even a small ship. So, um, I guess thanks for watching this part of the video, but if you are interested in the way things are going over here, I've just done a little bit of more work on the uh, transport cube, or turbo cube as I'm calling them, and uh, this is the sort of design I'm going for. I've had to do a little bit of editing with the um, docking cones and probes as it wasn't working as it was, but I've contacted the developer and hopefully he uh, helps me out with uh, making a solution so that way we can get this working. Because at the moment, there's a bit of an issue where you can't actually place um, docking probes. So these ones here on child entities. So I'll just sort of show you what I mean. Um, yeah, we'll just bring this one, oops, back over, oops, and we'll disconnect it first. So this here, um, we'll just get rid of the docking cone there, but if you try to place a docking probe, you can see that I'm starting to place it there, but you can't actually place it, and this is, this is because the game's been designed not to allow docking probes to get placed on anything that's a child entity. So anything on a slider, hinge, or rotator. But the docking cones can be placed. Problem is, you need to supply the logic pulse to the docking probe there, and not the docking cone. If you supply the logic pulse to the docking cone, then it doesn't actually initiate docking. But if you supply the pulse to the docking probe, then it does initiate the docking. But the problem is, I now need to have the docking probe on the uh, elevator 
the part where people sit in it, but that separates the logic from the rest of the logic which will be on the station. So having two different sets of logic means that they can't communicate with each other because you can't do logic ship to ship. So I've come up with a few suggestions for the developer, we'll see how that goes and hopefully one of those suggestions pulls through and gets added to the game. So um, that's just sort of clarifying that. Now I'll actually wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And if you've got any feedback or suggestions, also let me know that. And I will see you in the next video soon.